Hello everyone, I'm Christine McKenzie, President of IFLA. As you know, it's a time for transformation in IFLA. With our new strategy launched last year, we now want to ensure we have the best possible structure for delivery. A structure that is more inclusive, more effective, more transparent. To do this, we need you. The series of roundtables happening now are the latest in a series of conversations. The Governing Board has worked with the divisions and also talked with people who have unique insights into IFLA. We have carried out two surveys of our members and volunteers, one in October last year and one in the last two months. We have had strong responses for both. This is a sign of your commitment to IFLA and also a source of great suggestions on how to improve these proposals. For this, thank you. In this video, I want to talk in particular about our plans for the Governing Board, the body that, on behalf of IFLA's members, oversees and guides IFLA's work throughout the year. To do this, we want to be able to focus on the big strategic decisions in a more responsive, agile way and to bring together people with the skills needed to run an organisation as complex as ours. These skills exist around the world and so we need rules and practices that favour participation from the entire global library field in all its diversity. In particular, you indicated that you preferred more elected members to co-opted ones, and we heard you and have already changed the proposal. In our roundtables, we'll be looking to address another frequently asked question, how to ensure that the work of the Governing Board is transparent and that your voices are heard. I hope to meet as many of you as possible at one or more of our roundtables. Please take the time to watch our other videos and read our working paper and questions and answers on our website, www.ifla.org forward slash governance reviews. We're counting on your contributions to make these the best possible proposals for IFLA's new governance. Let's work together. We are IFLA.